Joker 2 and 3 and welcome back to Dragon Quest Monsters Joker where we have entered this gross mess of a place also known as my soul. In the last episode, it's not really my soul, don't worry. We entered this gross place which is actually called Tartarus and we also beat up Dark Derek and returned him to the light. In this episode, we're going to be heading up to that gross looking place at the top in an effort to find... Commissioner Snap because he's trying to end the world for some reason and ooh red chest Can I have your delicious delicious? Delights. Uh oh, it's a trap box. Oh, that's just cruel What on earth is oh, okay, um Well, I mean since it's just the one I guess I can regularly just attack Providing it doesn't do like thousands of damage every time it attacks, which I severely hope it doesn't. 85, so that's more damage than I'd have liked it to do, but... You know what, I'll just use healing items when we get out of this battle. And you know something I've realised? I've realised when we do these regular attacks, Gigi is doing the most damage just because she gets the second attack. I did not think my healer would also be my damage dealer. Yo. And there you have witnessed the whitest thing to ever happen on this channel. Right, I mean at least it wasted that turn trying to put Horace to sleep. Oh good, it's died. Can I have 333 experience points? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Aww. I don't know how I managed to get that number specifically right, but to be fair, I did think that was how much Horace needed to level up. But it turns out it was 338. I'm disappointed now. Alright. If there are enemies in here, I'll get into a fight with one of them just so that Horace can level up. Just because, I mean... <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Now that he's five experience away, I think it's a bit mean not letting him level up. Right, so I guess we're going to battle these phantom fences? Or oh, what are they? Phantom swordsmen, okay. Well, the ones in the Celeste Island Shrine were phantom fences, so... That's where... <clears throat> excuse me, with all the coughing, that's where I'm getting that name from. Now, I kind of don't want to look in that chest that I saw when we came in, in case it's just another trap box. But I kind of want it because I want more free things. I only want it because I'm greedy, is what I'm saying. Oh uh, dear. You know what, just on the off chance it is something bad, I'm gonna vanish just... Or on the off chance it's something good, should I say. Can't get us. Right, and since it just seems like it's Gardenia that's healing the team, it's gonna be a trap box, isn't it? Oh no, oh cool. Okay, right. A file of Yggdrasil, do I can live with that? That's not a bad thing. <laughs> right, now. This place is a lot bigger than I was anticipating. And I don't know where... Have I gone the wrong... I've gone the wrong way, haven't I? Ooh, maybe not. There's a door here. Uh, vanishes one off, that's fine. Is there an... We've just gone the way we... What? Huh? We've just gone the way we came. Oh my gosh, I'm an idiot. Wait. <laughs> what? Huh. Nope, sorry, I'm just being an idiot. Ignore what I'm saying there. I think I got the chest, but then literally just ran back the exact way I came. I am not a smart man. Uh, excuse me, Phantom Swordsman, I need to get past you, please. Thank you. Right. So yes, I am an idiot and I did just accidentally go the exact way I just came in. Right, I'm assuming I probably... Well, don't need to go down there, I don't think. Where's the exit? It's over this way. Oh, there's another chest. Um, there's apparently an exit right here. Oh, this is going to be a trap box, I know it. Oh no, a staff of... Ooh! Staff of Darkness, though. Is that an equip item, I wonder? Uh, Staff of Dark, it is. 
But I mean, it's nothing compared to Zombie's Blight. Uh, is is this the way I go? Could we? So I'm just very confused as as to this place. Can I get anywhere from down there? Right, I can't. So there's no point in going that way. So it seems like we just need to go up through here and past these faces. Or the soul spawn, I believe they're called. Come on, get out of the way, please. Oh, this is going to be a slow process, isn't it? There we go, thank you. Right, can I sneak past these? Oh good, they're not blocking the way. Perfect. I can deal with one of them blocking the way, but when it gets to all of them blocking the way, that's just when it gets a bit awkward and slow and annoying. Right. Now, I think at this point we're in a good a position as any just to be, like, at the end of the game and taking on the final boss. Um... No, I'll... I'll rejig my items a little bit, and I'll use a magic elixir on Gardenia just for the sake of it too. And I will on GG just in case we need for some reason that extra 5 MP. And you know what, eh. It doesn't look like there's any wild monsters around here so I don't think I need to vanish again at this point. Ooh, cutscene, yay. Oh, what? Um. Okay, so we're fighting the yellow gigantes now. Cool, I guess. Um, Atlas. I'm pretty sure an Atlas is a book, not a giant cyclops. Right, but you know what? Tra my traditional opening gambit will commence. Kabuffs, and then try and put it to sleep while lowering its defense. I mean, from what I remember, an Atlas is just a regular monster. Wow, that did a lot of damage that you can actually get yourself. But it's like a rank S monster and it can be a bit awkward to get. But it is actually a monster that you can get yourself. The Helm Splitter, there we go, right. Strong medicine so that I can get the second Kabuff off. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Helm splitter work. Oh, perfect. Wow. Right, and now with the dual kabuff active. Um, I think... Yep, while well, that's still asleep, I'll use one of these oomph powders on Gigi, seeing as though she causes the most damage when I regularly attack. Wow. Oh, and it wakes up. Thanks for that. Thanks, game, you scumbag. Right. So we did roughly about 800 damage that turn, so you know what, I'm just going to go for that again. I mean, I doubt this Atlas is going to have more HP than Dark Derek did. But you know what, it might do because this game sucks. Well, it doesn't suck, it's an awesome game. <laughs> Hence why I'm playing it. <laughs> Right. So I'm guessing that Atlas was maybe a mid-boss. Now how many oomph powders do I have? I've got six in my bag. In my bag! So you know what, let's carry another couple in my hand. Just in case. Because they are seriously... Oomph powders are great items, even though I said they were good. Yet I still have a problem in I forget to use items on that first turn when I really should. Right. Oh, there we go. It looks like we're at the bowels of hell, more or less. Well, everyone's healed, and I think it's just Gardenia that's missing a bit of MP. Oh, no, they're all missing a bit of MP, but you know what? I think we can live with that. Ooh, there's a couple chests around here. Ooh. One of these better not be a trap box, because that would be seriously scummy if it was. Yggdrasil-Leaf, yep, fair. Revival, and I'm guessing maybe an Yggdrasil due for like a multi-heal. A pair of Sacred Talons. Is that perhaps hinting at something? 
Right, I'll just go. <laughs> I'll just go down my line and equip the strongest one. Zombies blight and Gardenia is still stuck with Dragon's Bane. Oh, there we go. She's got the silver broadsword now. Bless her. Right now, I think I better put a few more Yggdrasil leaves in my hand, like to have on hand. Oh, I mean, I've got two. I don't think I'm gonna need three panaceas or panaceas or how I, however you pronounce it. I don't know. Right, yeah, I'll take one more. Ig oh, actually, I better take that and another leaf with me as well. I cannot carry any more items. Cool, right. Uh, strong medicine you can go in the bag. And I'll take another leap. Whoopsie! Well, I've wasted one of them. Bye! Right. So we've got three revives, and I think... I think we're in as good a position as any for healing. So, you know what? Snap. I think this may be it. I think this might be the final battle. Oh dear, oh dear. You seem to have changed colour again. Now why is that? You were supposed to be guarding the entrance for me. Silence. You underestimated my master's strength. But of course, I'd quite forgotten about Matthew. Where is the mark? I know that you have it. Ah, <laughs> what a ferocious little monster you are. I'm trembling at the knees. I'm so glad I took the mark from you when I had the chance. If we do not close the gate, the world will become just like the Dark World. Exactly. We shall turn this world into a paradise for monsters. I couldn't have done it without your help. See? Look what you've done to the sky! Mmm. A swirling vortex of death. Dark matter is pouring into this world like manna from heaven. Mwahahahaha! <laughs> Now I shall give you another dose of dark matter, and we shall be friends again. Time to take your medicine. Am I not gonna eat- I was gonna say, am I not gonna use the barium sphere here? Hmm, what is that? Ah, uh, Trump's work, no doubt. I do hope he enjoyed reading my research notes. Bah, it won't stop me. I'll show you true power! He says as he just does the exact same thing again. Oh, my sphere, that's cheating. Ho ho, did I break your toy? Oh, how boring, and I only used a fraction of the power available to me. Now let's try this again, shall we? Is this the end? Goodbye. I mean, it certainly better not be the end. <laughs> Out of power, it seems. Very strange. I seem to be running low on dark matter. Well, not to worry. There's lots more where that came from. Thanks to our good friend the Incarnus, I can call upon an endless supply. Why don't you play with my friends here while I refill my sphere? You know, all the while he was talking, we could have just murdered him. Just saying.